Hi there, my name is Dan, and together, me and you, creative type person, are gonna learn to code a website together. Now there's loads of free stuff here on my channel, uh, but if you want more, check out my website, bringyourownlaptop.com. Hey there, in this page, we're gonna create our first bit of HTML and CSS. Okay, we're gonna do some coding, but don't worry. It's gonna be pretty easy coding. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've opened up Dreamweaver. First thing we need to do is we need to create something called a site. So go up to site along the top here and go to new site. Okay, give your site a name. You can call it anything you like. I'm gonna call this one Dan's Portfolio. And down here, this is the important bit, the local site folder. And all this does is tell uh, Dreamweaver where you're gonna keep your website on your computer. Now you need to keep all of your files in this one folder, okay? You can't have them spread out all over the place like you can do as a graphic designer, okay? You've gotta have them all on your laptop. So let's create a new folder. So let's click this little browse button. I'm gonna put mine on my desktop for this case. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it Dan's Portfolio. Portfolio, you can see the naming convention here, just don't use uh, spaces, try to use underscores. And because you're now going to be a hardcore coder, you need to use lowercase instead of title case or uppercases. Just cause, no real reason. Let's click create, let's click choose. One last thing we'll do before we go is just to make our lives easier, go to advanced settings and go to default image folder, click on this one and click new folder and click on uh, type in images and click create. And what it's done is it's just made, let's click choose. I'll go show you my desktop. You can see here is my folder that I made and inside there's my images folder. And that images folder here under advanced will just help us when we are gathering images from all sorts of places. It'll make sure that Dreamweaver picks them up and puts them inside this local site folder. Remember everything on this page, uh, including our text, all our files, any images, any videos, all have to go into this folder on my desktop called Dan's Portfolio. Let's click save. Okay, first things first, uh, we're gonna create an HTML5 page. Now yours might look a little different. You might be on recent files or CC files. Just make sure you're on quick start. Okay, um, and let's click on HTML5 document. Great, and during this course, what we're gonna do is we, there's a couple of options. There's standard and developer, there's live and split and all these sorts of things. We're gonna be in developer mode. I know we're not developers, we're designers, but we're gonna learn to code we might as well use it with the best tools we can and this developer mode has the best tools and it also it's really lightweight and really quick and um, whereas the standard view can be a little sluggish and I find it a little hard to use. So make sure you switch to developer. Yours might look slightly different. Yours probably on files there so I'll switch mine there. Great, so first thing we should do is save our page. So let's go to file, let's go to save. Now, um, for our first page, we need to call it index.html. Um, this is true for every website. You need at least one page called index.html, spelled exactly like that, and that will be your home page. Okay, so um, you can't call it anything else just for this page. All preceding pages, say our portfolio page or any of the services or contact us, they can be called anything we like, but the home page needs to be called index.html. Great, where is it gonna put it? It's gonna put it inside Dan's portfolio. I'm just gonna make that a little bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna click save. Great. The next thing we should do when we're making any new page is add a page title. At the moment, it's called Untitled Document. And it just means if I preview in a browser, watch this, let's go to File, let's go down to Real Time Preview and click Chrome. Okay, it's gonna open up in a browser and you see it on the top here, it says Untitled Document. That's the little page title there. And that appears on all pages. And that appears both here in the little tab and when people bookmark your page, but also when Google does a search. So if I do a Google search for, let's say, Dreamweaver tutorials. Tutorials, okay. See these little ones along the top here, these blue bits? That's where the page title ends up. So if you have untitled document, that's what will be in blue in Google, and you'll actually never rank. So it's really important when you're doing pages to go and do your page title. So let's do that now. So here in Dreamweaver untitled document, this one's gonna be called Daniel Scott's design portfolio. Great. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our first bit of code. Let's hit save. So to put anything on your page, you need to put it between these two tags called body. 
Okay, so there's an open and a close. You can see the close here has the forward slash in front of it. So if I put a couple of returns in here, okay, so anything that appears in here is gonna appear on my page. Anything that appears at the top here in this head, okay, is kind of stuff in the background, like this page title here is kind of stuff that the browser uses for weird things. Okay, and in terms of the body here, this is where we're gonna put our code. So now let's put in our first bit of HTML code. Are you ready? Ready to become a coder? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put an angle bracket. Okay, and we're gonna type H1. Okay, so H1 is considered the most important heading on your page. To close off the heading, we need to put in a close angle brackets. Okay, so that's the opening of the head. And then we're going to put in hello world. Okay, you have to write hello world for your very first bit of coding just because that's the line of passage for everybody. So if you're a coder and you ever go to coding school, uh, that's the first thing you're gonna go and produce is something that's gonna make a page that has hello world on it. So welcome. So let's actually make it work first. So we've got H1, the opening, then we've got hello world. Now to close it off, we need to put in a angle bracket and then a forward slash. And Dreamweaver is pretty clever and finishes it off for us. But you can see over here, there's the open on my H1. Okay, and here's my closing. And the only difference is it's the same thing except it has a forward slash. Okay, so it wraps around that word. And that is going to be our heading. So we've done it, but we need to see it. So we're gonna use our real-time browser preview. Now you can go up to file or there's a quicker way down the bottom right here. So I'm gonna hit preview, I'm gonna click on Google Chrome. And there my friends, we have hello world and a nice big heading. You my friend are now a coder, kind of. As long as people want a website that only has headings in it, okay? But we've done it, right? We've got an H1, it's got some text in there, it's on a page, we've even coded Okay, our heading along the type here or our page title. Okay, so let's get back and do some more coding. So back here in Dreamweaver, we've created our first bit of HTML. Okay, next thing we need to do is create something called CSS. Now HTML are things like the words and the images that go on the page. They're quite physical and they appear on the page. The CSS is what we style them with because that's what we want to do now is this heading is big, bold and Times New Roman and black. What we want to do is go and start styling it and we do that in our CSS. So you ready? Let's go to file, let's go to new. Let's switch it to CSS, click create. And that is a CSS sheet. It's not particularly exciting, is it? Okay, just have a little bit of text in there. So let's save it, file, let's go to save. You can call this anything you like, but it's really common to call it styles.css. Okay, now the next thing is we need to link the two because these are two separate files at the moment. They're still in the same folder, okay, but they're not connected. So let's close down the styles here and we need to connect them. And you do it by linking to it in this head. Remember our body is everything that appears in the page and the head is everything that's in the background that kind of does the behind the scenes stuff, okay? And that's what we're gonna do up here. We're gonna put a return afterwards. We're gonna put another link to our CSS. Now it's actually quite long bit of code. So there's lots of tricks that Dreamweaver has got to make things a little easier for us. And that's the reason really why people like me, okay, who come from a design background can actually do front end web development is because of all these helper things that Dreamweaver lets us do. So let's do it. Let's type in the word link. Okay, and what you wanna do is you wanna hit tab, not return. Return does nothing. Okay, we've just got this weird word called link. But if we've got link and hit tab on our keyboard, look what happens. Hey, magic, it puts links to a style sheet and it has this href thing here. And if we start typing S, can you see Dreamweaver is even more helpful, okay? And you can see there's styles.css. It's looked at my folder and says, you probably mean this, Dan. And I say, yes, and I just hit return on my keyboard and it lays it in there. Great, so they're now connected. If I hit save, file save, you can see this little document bar appears at the top here. So source code references the HTML that I'm looking at, right? All this hello world. Up here, the styles, okay, is when I'm switching to the styling. Okay, and they're connected now. So what I can do is I can style this H1 in my styles.css, go in here. And what can we style? We could style loads, okay? But let's get to the basics done. So let's type in H1, oh, H1, and CSS has its own syntax. Okay, it's not particularly hard. CSS is the easiest of all the um, bits of coding you're gonna be doing. Okay, so it's H1 to um, reference the thing back in our HTML, and then we put in a curly brace, okay? And then we put a return in. And can you see it automatically put in a curly brace at the top here and the bottom? And our styles just need to go anywhere between them. Don't delete him, okay, or the top one, everything inside here. Now, let's start typing, let's do the font color. Okay, so just type in C. 
K-O-L, and you can see Dreamweaver is quite helpful and tries to pre-fill it in with potential CSS properties. Okay, and in this case, colors at the top, it's a really common one. So if you use the word color, okay, it references the font color. And you see there, I didn't type it all out. I just clicked return and it filled it in. Let's do that again. So you type in C-O-L, and then I can use my keys to go up and down. I hit return on my keyboard, and it fills it in with the right syntax. You can see that semicolon needs to go in there. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is, I, if I know the hexadecimal number, I could go off to Photoshop and grab it, or I could just use the color picker here. And you can drag this around and hue sliders, and I'm gonna pick red. Okay, hit enter. And the big thing to remember when you were doing any CSS property is that to finish it off, to tell Dreamweaver you're finished, okay, is to put in a semicolon. Okay, so there's a bit of syntax. Curly braces, there's a colon there, but that automatically got put it in there, and the curly, Oh, sorry, the semicolon at the end here. That's the one you always need to do. And when you're learning, it's the one you'll forget and things won't work. Double check that you've got a semicolon in there. Okay, and that code right there, this FF0000 is the code for red. Now, let's go and check our browser. And what I'm gonna do before we leave here is I'm gonna do save. Okay, I use this one save all all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna do that throughout the course. So save all, so it saves my HTML and my CSS. Let's go look at the browser. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, it's an H1, but it's red. Look at us, doing web design. Let's jump back into Dreamweaver. What else can we do? Fun. Okay, let's do font. You can see there's lots of font. Let's do font family. Okay, I just use my arrow key down, hit return, and here's some basic ones. I'm gonna pick Gil Sands. Great. And remember, right at the end of this thing here, we're gonna put in a semicolon. Now we're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna jump out to my browser. Hey, we've got a big giant red Hello world, nice. Okay, let's say we don't like the size. So font hyphen S, and you can see the size, and I'm gonna put in, let's put it in really big. Okay, so 160 pixels. Remember, end it in a semicolon, hit save, jump out. Giant hello world. Okay, back here, that's probably be a bit big. Let's get down to maybe 60 pixels. Save it, okay. Okay, um, Let's look at one other thing. Let's look at maybe the font weight. Because by default, it's that big bold. Okay, so font weight is used to, see there's font weight. Okay, and uh, 100 is really thin and consider uh, 400 is a regular, uh, 600 is about a semi bold and um, 800 is black. Okay, like the big thick fonts. So I'm gonna make it 100. Remember the end, semicolon, save, jump out. Hey. Starting to look nice. Gil Sands is one of those weird fonts where I love it really small, but I hate it in bold. I don't know why. Hate's a strong word. Anyway, let's jump back into Dreamweaver. And that, my friend, is basically what we're gonna be doing to build a website. You put stuff in your HTML over here, okay? In this case, it's an H1, but it could be uh, an image, okay? Or it could be a link. And then you jump out to your styles.css, you reference it by its name, and then you give it some properties. Okay, and there's lots of different properties, but it's not that hard. People think uh, people think coding a website is super difficult, and it can be once you get into the really big, hardcore, dynamic Java sites, okay? But in terms of front-end web design and what you're expected to do, you'll be expected to know lots about how to put stuff into HTML, and then how to style it in CSS, and not a lot more, okay? So don't be scared by it. Great, so that'll be it for this video. We've covered how to start a site, okay? Define a local site, and then we created our first HTML page. We put an H1 in there. We created our style sheet. We styled it. We did some web design. Okay, so that'll be it for this video. Let's go in the next one. And what we'll do in the next one is we'll start looking at something called media queries. And that just helps us learn about responsiveness. How good was that, right? If you want more, check out bringyourownlaptop.com.